variance computation and analysis factory overhead variable factory overhead computation and analysis of variable factory overhead variance are the same as indirect labor cost variance except that uh, rates uh, sorry the rates to be used are the variable factory overhead rates so maaakundaan niyo pa yung ating template na ginamit dun sa variance computation and analysis direct labor is parehas dun sa variable factory overhead ang pinagkaiba lang ang gagamitin nating rate ay variable factory overhead rates so again difference ng actual variable overhead and standard variable overhead variable factory overhead variance and yung factory variable factory overhead variance is ang analysis niya ang breakdown ng variable factory overhead variance ay variable factory overhead spending variance and variable factory efficiency or time variance so kung maaalala nyo pa yung template natin sa direct labor is yung um, ahar ashar or asher and shesher so yung ahar dito yung actual factory or yung actual variable factory overhead and yung shesher yung standard variable factory overhead and yung rate na ginagamit dito sa variable factory overhead variance is yung hindi yung direct labor rate ha? yung variable factory overhead rate so yung difference nito ng ahar at ashar yan yung variable factory overhead spending variance and yung difference naman ng usher and shesher is yan yung variable factory overhead efficiency variance okay recall natin na yung yung AH means actual hours AR means actual variable overhead rate. SR means standard variable overhead rate. And yung SH means standard R. So yung standard R, so paano nga ba makompute to? Again, recall natin, ang standard R's na binabanggit palagi dito ay yung standard R's applied to actual production and how to compute that is actual production times the standard R per unit of product so again gagamitin ulit natin itong template na to sa pagcompute ng variance variable factory overhead Illustration, Villaverde Corporation Standard Cost System contains the following overhead cost computed on a monthly normal volume of 25,000 units or 50,000 direct labor hours. Variable factory overhead, 12 per unit and fixed factory overhead, 8 per unit. The following information pertains to the month of April 2020. Actual factory overhead cost incurred. So variable 316,680, fixed is 225. So ito na yung actual factory overhead na na incur ni Villa Verde. Actual production 26,000 units. Actual direct labor hours work 54. Um, 1,600 hours 
required determine the following. So tayo ngayon ay nasa variable factory overhead, variance computation, and analysis. So ang masasolve lang natin dito, yung variable overhead variance, variable overhead spending variance, and variable overhead efficiency variance. So yung number 4 hanggang number 10, so mamaya pa natin i-discuss yan. Sa ngayon, mag-focus muna tayo sa variance computation ng variable factory overhead. Okay, so number 1 muna tayo. Variable factory overhead variance. So to compute yung variable factory overhead variance is yan lang yung difference ng actual which is etong ahar and yung standard which is tong she serve okay actual um, variable overhead actually given na yung variable overhead na actual eto na yon 300 16,680 So kapag in-express pa natin ito into ahar ashar ah sorry ahar we're in actual hours times actual rate Asa ng actual hours dito? Ang actual hours ay ito 54,600 times ano yung rate E di divide na lang natin to 316,680 divided by 54,600 that is 5.8 ayan 5.8 and yung yung shear naman yung shear naman how to compute yung um, yung standard hours at standard rate standard variable overhead rate so remember ang standard yung, or yung SH means standard hours applied to actual production which is yung actual production times um, standard hours per unit okay how to compute standard hours Ang sabi ng problem, uh, monthly normal volume of 25,000 units or 50,000 direct labor hours. So, ang normal capacity ng company is normal, normally, nagpuproduce siya ng 25,000 units ng product consuming 50,000 direct labor hours. Ibig sabihin, Kung ang normal niya, kung ang normal volume niya ay 25,000 units at ang normal direct labor hours niya ay 50,000, kapag pinag-divide natin yung 50,000 direct labor hours sa number of units, 25,000 ibig sabihin, ang standard uh, ang standard hours natin would be 2 hours per unit Ibig sabihin Para makabuo ka ng isang product Ang standard hours mo dapat Or yung should be hours lang na makukonsumo Would be 2 hours Okay, kung ito ang standard hours at ang standard hours applied to actual production ay actual production which is 26,000 units times the standard hour per unit na 2 that is um, standard hours 2 times 26 that is 52 thousand hours ibig sabihin kung ang standard hour mo is 2 hours per unit of product at nakapag-produce ka ng 26,000 units meaning dapat 
52,000 hours lang yung nakonsumo. Pero, ang nakonsumo talaga na hours, 54,600. So, ganun yung um, um, concept ng standard hours applied to production. Direct lang ulit natin. So, standard hours natin would be 52,000. Ito yon Computation nito would be ito, 52,000 times the standard rate. Okay. Ano yung standard rate natin dito? Ang standard rate is variable factory overhead 12 pesos per unit. Fixed factory overhead 8 pesos per unit. So, tayo ngayon ay nasa variable factory overhead pa lang. So, ito lang ang titingnan natin. Pero, pwede ba natin gamitin yung 12 per unit? Hindi. Kasi, yung 12 per unit, hindi natin pwedeng ilagay dito times 12. Kasi per unit ang basehan. Dapat, standard variable overhead rate per, um, per R. Okay. Paano naman makukompute itong Um, standard rate So dito na lang If ang standard rate ng company Ay 12 Sa variable factory overhead Kapag pinagmultiply natin yan Sa kanyang normal volume Na 25,000 Units Makukuha natin yung um, Standard variable factory overhead which is 12,000 times 25,000 units 12, ah sorry, 12 pesos per unit times 25,000 units ang standard variable factory overhead natin ay 12 times 25,000 that is 300 thousand. Ayan. Okay, na-complete na natin ang ating um, standard variable factory overhead. 300,000. Standard variable factory overhead based sa normal capacity. Okay. Ngayon, kung ito ang standard overhead rate based sa normal capacity, 300,000. Kapag yung 300,000 ay dinivide natin sa 50,000 direct labor hours, which is yan yung normal, yan yung, um, normal number of direct labor hours na nakabase sa kanyang normal capacity, 25,000 units, 300,000 divided by 50,000 Therefore, ang ating standard variable factory overhead rate ay 6 per R. So, meron na tayo ditong 52,000 times 6. 52,000 times 6 52,000 times 6 that is 312,000 Okay Ngayon may actual na tayo Meron na tayong standard uh, Variable factory overhead Therefore, ang difference nila 316 minus 312 That is 14,000 Ah, sorry, 4,000 pala 4,680 Okay Ito, yung, yung 4,680 Yan yung Variable factory overhead Variance Okay Favorable or unfavorable? Yan ay unfavorable. Bakit? Ang standard na variable factory overhead mo 
dapat 312,000 lang. Pero yung nakonsumo or na-incur mo na variable factory overhead is 316,000. Therefore, yung difference na 4,680, kumbaga excess ka na iyong ginastos. Kung ito yung dapat mong gastosin, sumobra ka ng gastos. So, unfavorable. Nagpas ka dun sa iyong should be na gastos. 4,680 unfavorable. So, number one, answer natin 4,680 unfavorable. Okay. So, nirewrite lang natin yung ating um, template kasi magkocompute na tayo ng variances. Medyo hindi na kasya. So, dito na lang sa space provided dito. So, meron na tayong um, actual at meron na tayong standard. So, yung panghati natin yung wala. Yung assured. So, actual hours is 54,600. And standard rate natin ay 6 per hour. Okay. 54,600 times 6. That is 327,600. Okay. Difference nito? 316 minus 327. That is 10,920. Ito yung ating variable factory overhead spending variance favorable or unfavorable ito ay favorable and yung difference naman ng assure and sure 327.6 minus 312 that is 15,000 600 favorable or unfavorable okay by the way itong variance na to ito yung tinatawag natin uh, variable factory overhead efficiency variance favorable or unfavorable siya ay um, unfavorable Normally, yung palatandaan dyan kung ano yung mas malaki. Kung ano yung, kung ano yung um, kapag favorable, mas maliit yung nasa taas. Kapag unfavorable, mas malaki yung nasa itaas. So, sa case na to, dapat 300,000 lang yung iyong standard. Pero, sumasobra ka. Naging 327.6. So, an, kung baga meron kang 15,600 na unfavorable variable factory overhead efficiency variance overhead spending variance ay 10,920 favorable yung variable overhead efficiency 15,600 unfavorable and isama rin natin yung um, matawag doon, yung ating computation ng variance ng variable factory overhead rate. So, ang actual natin, ang actual variable factory overhead natin ay ano? Ito, yung 316,680. And yung ating standard variable factory overhead ay ito, 312,000. 